Well, welcome back, everyone. You know, uh, especially on our daily, day-to-day -day routines, it's kind of hard to put life in perspective. But just think about it for a second. If you couldn't talk, you couldn't express yourself, your motor skills were compromised, and you just couldn't, you just couldn't get through the day. Well, recently, we became aware of a disease called Angelman syndrome. And you're right, I didn't know about it either. And we also found out that somebody in our community is helping a girl who has this syndrome sort of deal with life. So joining me today is Jackie Orr, who is part of a run that's happening with this girl, Ariana. So welcome, Jackie. Thank you. Thank it's you for really, having me. It's really nice to have it's you It's really here. great to be here. Um, we had a wonderful conversation before this interview, and I have to tell you, you're a very energetic, very interesting person. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Don't tell it, them too much. Yeah, I won't. Don't I won't say too much. <laughs> um, tell me, uh, first I want to try to frame mm -hmm. uh, Angelman syndrome. Yes. Now, it affects your motor skills, correct? Yes, it does. Okay, so there are speech issues. Yes, there lack are of speech. Lack of speech, mm -hmm. right? Almost mm -hmm. completely, right? Yes. So the means of communication, as you were telling me, might be physical, but there's also handicaps going on there yes. with the ability to control your arms and your legs. Correct. Boy, Correct. that is, Correct. it's so damn insidious. Yes, I can't it believe is. it. Yep. Now, not many people know about this. No, they don't. It's a very rare neurological disorder. It affects one in 15,000 births. Wow. Um, and Passed down through the mom, I think you were saying to me, yes, right? Yes, yes, okay. yep, yep. And uh, can skip generations, can, you don't, you don't really know. No, right? you don't. You do, it's uh, diagnosed early in life, uh, okay. usually in, in infancy. Um, now the girl, uh, Ariana, mm -hmm. you first met her when? I first met her in person last year. Mm -hmm. um, for we, I, I ran the wine glass half marathon with her in Corning, New York. Um, I had, I was blessed with that opportunity to push her in her chariot. Um, I m was connected with the family, uh, almost four years ago through mm -hmm. an organization, um, I run for, and the purpose of that organization is to be matched with a buddy and run for those who can't. That mm -hmm. is the concept of this organization. Um, it's an international organization, and I just so happen to have been matched with this beautiful angel girl, angel girl Ari, yeah. excuse me, um, who completely changed the game, completely yeah. changed the game for me. And as fate had it, we live in the same state, and uh, mm -hmm. I was, like I said, blessed with the opportunity to meet her uh, last year. That's great. Yeah, um, yeah. I want to cycle back. The name of the organization is I Run For. Think about how cool this is. This is an organization that pairs up athletes like Jackie with girls like Ariana who are afflicted with these various diseases. And you know, you've seen uh, this, I, I know you've seen videos of this where these runners actually push these children in yes. their chariots or yes. in their whatever yes. those, those, I guess you call them chariots, yes. that's great. Yes. Um, and the child then gets the sense and the experience and the thrill <laughs> of being part of something. but. More than that is the relationship that you develop with her. You light up when you talk about She's her. Got, she has my heart completely. Yeah, I, yep. you know what, Jackie? I can, I can tell that she <laughs> does. Um, now, you ran a half marathon. I did. Which has got to be like 10 miles or 12 miles or something. It's 13.1. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget that point one. Uh, I guess you could tell that if you gave me a golf cart, I wouldn't be able to do a half marathon. <laughs> yes, you could. Yeah, the, uh, but this is a full marathon, which is yes. only 20 miles. Right? 26.2. Wow. Don't okay. leave out that point two. No, no, I wouldn't think of it. <laughs> um, and you're going to run this with uh, with Ariana. Pushing her. Correct. Yes. Now it's coming up this Sunday? This Sunday. Now, yep. you know, something like this is particularly important because it raises awareness. Uh, you know, they want you to follow through and they want you to donate because they don't have a cure for it yet. But as Jackie was telling so me, close. They're, they're close to making it livable. So close. Now, what does that mean when you say that they'll make it livable? That their quality of life is dramatically improved. Yeah, gotcha. They can live a life seizure-free. Uh, they can, their fine motor skills can be greatly improved. Mm -hmm. um, their quality of life yeah, think is improved. About that. Um, you know what, you were saying something to me that I thought was, uh, was important that Ariana can't speak. Uh, she's 12 years old, did you mm -hmm. tell me? She right. is, yep. She's 12 years old, 
probably uh, developmentally, because there's delayed d development, uh, probably maybe four or five years old. So think about that. The child is aware, trying to communicate, mm. can't speak, and if it comes down to something physical, sometimes uncontrollable mm -hmm. shaking or something. Mm -hmm. So if she's hungry, it takes mm -hmm. a long time for her to get the H-U-N-G. Mm -hmm. So in terms of finding a cure for this, yes. they're getting close to be able to help those motor skills Absolutely. for communication purposes. Absolutely, and there are several clinical trials um, being done for the therapeutics uh, for towards Angelman syndrome, and every single dollar counts. Yeah, every single dollar counts. Um, donations are matched. Mm -hmm. um, this town has been absolutely amazing. It has completely wrapped its arms around me and this journey. Um, we've raised over $400 to go Great. towards Angelman um, awareness and, and research and all of that, all of that fun stuff. So yeah. um, if the viewers go to cureangelman.org, um, ev even if it's $1, even if it's $1, every little bit counts. Yes, of course it does. Absolutely. Now, the race is this Sunday, and one of our very own, Jackie, is going to head out to Corning, New York, to do this full marathon, <laughs> <laughs> pushing Ariana. I saw photos, by the way, and Ariana totally knows who she is. Of course she and does. And you see the look on her face and whatever. <laughs> and like you were saying. It's a party. It's <laughs> we're going to have music blaring, and it's it's a party for Jackie, sure. I get this feeling anything with you is a party. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you got me very, figured out. You're a real type A. Woo! Uh, so Ariana <laughs> is very lucky. But look, go, uh, what's that website? CureAngelman.org? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Cure Thank you. CureAngelman.org. Find out about this. Yes. And uh, find out what you can do. And don't Donate. And, and donate. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Well, Jackie, it's a pleasure to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. In. I yeah. appreciate this opportunity. You're Thank an you very much. Thank you very much. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.